Hello boozers and welcome to another bonus video. Today we've got a nice beer from Dumoulin. Now this has been aging in my cellar for a little bit and yeah. So this is called Mui and Midoglesenrus. It's a bourbon barrel aged beer and it's an imperial stout-ish. Coming at 24.1% plateau and yeah these these guys really know how to do their beers keep it cool and dark recommended drinking temperature is 10 degrees please drink responsibly and it's 11.2 percent alcohol by volume unpasteurized so yeah ingredients are water barley malts pills caramel chocolate roasted uh, bitter hops, Chinook, and Saz, and top fermenting yeast. This was bottled on the 9th, or so August 15th, 2016, and is best before the August 15th, 2021. So we are about just over halfway on its age. Because we're looking at the 23rd of December, or 22nd of December today. And yeah, so let's get into this, shall we? Now it does have a wax seal, but unlike other wax seals, this actually has a spot where you can get underneath it. So they don't use a lot of wax, but they use enough where it just gives it a little bit of an extra touch, which is nice. And the wax isn't that hard. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, and I pulled out my good Christmas glass for this, obviously. So, what we've got here. Blacker than the Ace of Spades. One finger's worth of head. And she's looking beautiful. Woof. The smell, lots of bourbon coming off of that. Absolutely lots of bourbon coming off of that. Oh, that is just pure bourbon. Not really getting any roasted notes, a little chocolate, but a woody bourbon note is coming off of there very, very strongly. I picked this up at one of my, one of the beer stores, well, actually the beer store, um, uh, at, well, I guess not the beer store. Uh, it's pretty much about a year ago, year and a half ago almost, and it was one of those ones where I had to get it. They were selling these suckers off. These are normally nine, ten dollars. I got this for three dollars and fifty cents. That is a raw J deal right there for these beers. So yeah, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Holy crap. A lot of booziness is not even present there. A lot of bourbon is present, though. It does have that aged taste to it. Like it's been sitting in the bottle for a bit. And it's pretty much in a nice little warehouse a little bit too. But it is an absolutely divine beer. You do get that warming sensation going down here. But aside from that, this is a beautiful, beautiful beer. Wow. Dumoulin has always been... Oh, he drank a little bit earlier on tonight, so he's, he's done. Dumoulin's been, always been a really solid brewery. I've always liked their stuff. Uh, the only one I did not like, because I was pretty new to that, was their coffee beer that was like their 666 beer. And I wasn't a fan of it. It was strong, powerful, kicked my ass, just didn't like it. But as I grew to try more of these, I grew to try more barrel aged, I grew to try more other stuff, I grew a lot with this brewery and it has been one of those ones where it's a special occasion and this is just like that it's a special occasion for this beer 
I don't know. If you had this one before, let me know your thoughts. This is one that I, again, saw for a good price and I picked it up and I'm glad I did because I really like Dumoulin stuff. They've got some great stuff and this is right up there with them. So folks, again, let me know what you thought. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is it good, bad, and different for you? For me, I think it's a very solid beer. I will drink it constantly if I had to. Only had one of these, but I do have another Dumoulin in my cellar. I think I might pull out because the date on it was amazing. The date on it was 2026, I think it was. I'll see if I can find it. Till next time, I am PK saying cheers, stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining, and you guys have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful night.